Welcome all. My dear friends, let's continue our journey in the world of IPR by picking a section of the Patent Act 1970. So let us proceed. And this slide is not new for you, right? In this slide, we have established a relationship between sections 7, 54, 135 and rule 20 with form 1. That means a linkage was set up between these sections, the rule and the form 1. Fine. And here, as we have earlier already discussed about section 7 and section 135, in this lecture, we will discuss about section 54. And what is 54? 54 is patents of addition. Okay. So, let's proceed. Section 54 comes from Chapter 9 of the Indian Patent Act and Chapter 9 is about patents of addition. Okay. And here the title for section, the, just a minute, just a second. Here the title for section 54 is also patents of addition. That means the name of the chapter is patents of addition and the title of the section 54 is also patents of addition. You can find the similarity here. Next, here types of patent applications are given. So, patent applications can be classified into ordinary application, convention application, PCT international application and PCT national phase application. Fine. And here we will discuss about patents of addition. So, Patents of addition. We can say, just a minute, I will just give you a brief in introduction on patents of addition. So, we can say the patent of addition is an added advantage to the application in order to secure the improvement or new modification in the invention. It can be a subject matter of any kind of application. Right, it can be a subject matter for any kind of application. That means the kind of applications just I have shown you. Fine. Also, another benefit is that no renewal fees are needed for this application. Also, mere claiming in patent of addition over main application from different aspects does not fulfill the purposes of section 54 of the Patent Act 1970 and hence if the claims do not properly cover the invention the same cannot be corrected by filing a patent of addition. This was a brief introduction only. Now we will dig detail we will dig into the we will dig in detail to the section that is section 54. So, section 54 has four subsections and I have picked up some keywords for the particular subsections. This is done to have a clear understanding and it will make us easier to recall or it, it, it will give us a benefit of memorizing the things very well. Okay, so that's why for subsection 1, the keyword I have, I have chosen is improvement or modification. For subsection 2, the keyword I have chosen is revoke the patent. For subsection 3, the keyword is date of filing. And for subsection 4, the keyword is main invention. And friends, the keywords I have picked, this is completely depends upon my intellect. And I thought that by picking up these keywords, it will be easier for us to memorize the description of the particular subsection in a very better way. Okay. So, you can find another way, another better way if you try according to your own intellect. It's fine. Fine. So, next we Subsection 1. Subsection 1 says, 
subject to the provisions contained in this section where an application is made for a patent in respect of any improvement in or modification of an invention described or disclosed in the complete specification filed therefore in this act referred to as the main invention and the applicant also applies or has applied for a patent for that invention or is the patentee in respect thereof the controller may if the applicant so request grant the patent for the improvement or modification as a patent of addition okay so first of all we will try to find the literal meaning of patent of addition okay addition means something to be summed up or something to be added up so a patent that will be added to something will be known as the patent of addition fine so okay actually we will discuss about the particular situation here okay the situation is like this after the patent for an invention has been filed or granted sometimes the inventor or the applicant feels that he has another invention to be patented which is a modification or an improvement of the first invention or the main invention okay and in such a case the inventor or the applicant can file patent of addition for the second invention instead of filing a separate application and such application based on the second invention is known as the patent of addition actually friends uh, why i have used both the words inventor or applicant actually what happens sometimes if the inventors are same then it's okay but sometimes the inventors may be different okay but the applicant need to be the same that's why the better word to utter here is applicant in this subsection also no fair friends no fair just observe no fair inventor is written applicant only is written and that's why it would be better to utter or to use the word applicant only okay okay next uh, actually what are the advantages of a patent of addition for a patent of addition no separate renewal fees are needed okay and we can say in certain circumstances why certain circumstances i would like to discuss here only that what happens here actually fine so section 2 subsection 1 clause q says patent of addition means a patent granted in accordance with section 54 and we are dealing with section 54 now right and here as you can see the applicant also applies or has applied for a patent for that invention or is the patentee that means the main invention it can be in the application phase or in the granted phase that's why i have written here the parent or main application may be in the application phase or in the granted phase and the new or modified application is in the application phase okay so actually uh, the person would be called as the applicant till we can say uh, when the application is in the application phase only the person holding it holding it will be known as the applicant and once it is granted that means the stage or the phase is granted phase then the holder will be known as the patentee just remember this difference it will be helpful fine so here we can say this is the main invention and this is the second invention okay and this one is added to this one 
okay so is this invention is just a modification or an improved version of this that's why this can be applied as a patent of addition to the main invention okay or the main application and this application is also known as the parent application and this application we can call as the child application we can say right so now after explaining all these things i would like to read this subsection again to make you understand in a better way fine so just observe subject to the provisions contained in this section that means section 54 where an application is made for a patent in respect of any improvement in or modification of an invention that means this one this one is the improved part improved invention or modification one and this invention that means the similar invention is already described that means here the modification part is here but the similar main invention is described or disclosed in the complete specification of the main invention right and here the applicant also applies or has applied for a patent for that invention or is the patent in respect thereof that means here the applicant may be in the applicant stage or in the patent stage okay so now this invention and here both the applicants are same and so when the applicant so request to the controller the controller by inquiring on all the criteria to be fulfilled or inquiring on all the uh, required or desired criteria grant the patent this patent okay is the patent of addition okay so this way friends uh, i think subsection 1 is crystal clear now okay okay then we will go to subsection 2 2 now another situation another situation prevails here okay subject to the provisions contained in this section where an invention being an improvement in or modification of another invention is the subject of an independent patent just remember it independent patent and the patent in respect of that patent is also the patent in respect of the patent for the main invention the controller may if the patent is so request by order revoke the patent for the improvement or modification and grant to the patent a patent of addition in respect thereof bearing the same date as the date of the patent so revoked so here friends you will not find the word applicant anywhere that means here we are talking about two independent patents first one is patent p1 is the patent for the main invention and second one is patent p2 this is for the second invention that means the application or the application with modification or improvement that was applied later fine so here what happens we can say since both the patents have been filed by the same applicant who is now termed as the patent for both the cases the applicant can request or the patent can request the controller to revoke patent 2 to revoke patent 2 and convert it into a patent of addition with patent 1 that is for the main invention that means this patent previously it was an independent patent it will be converted into a patent of addition and it will be it will get added to the main invention p1 so this is the gist of this subsection so we can say here patent 1 will be treated as the main invention and patent 2 will be treated as the patent of addition fine 
That's why here we have written like an independent patent can be converted to a patent of addition. This one. Upon request made by the patentee to the controller provided that the patent is common. That means the patent is common for P1 and P2. Fine. That I have already discussed. The independent patent thus converted to patent of addition. This one will remain in force till the term of the patent for the main invention. Because we know that always special privilege is given to the main invention. So that's why expiry date of this patent and this patent will be the same. That's why it is written here. It will remain in force till the term of the patent for the main invention. That's all friends. The gist of subsection 2 is this. So what we have observed that for subsection 1, there was a different situation and for subsection 2, there prevails a different situation. Now again I will read this subsection to make you understand better. Just go with the flow. Subject to the provisions contained in this section, where an invention being an improvement in or modification of another invention is the subject of an independent patent, fine, and the patentee in respect of that patent is also the patentee in respect of the patent for the main invention. Fine. The controller may, if the patentee so request, patentee same for both, by order, revoke the patent, this one, for the improvement or modification and grant to the patentee a patent of addition in respect thereof, bearing the same date as the date of the patent, so revoked. That means, just a conversion of an independent into a independent patent into a patent of addition is done and the term of this will be same as the main invention because it will be dependent upon the main invention right so this patent of addition will be added to the main invention that's why this is known as patent of addition okay that's why we term the uh, we uh, say that we make a patent of addition with patent 1. Okay. So, I think now it's almost 100% clear. Okay. Now, we will go to subsection 3. A patent shall not be granted as a patent of addition unless the date of filing of the application was the same a, same as or later than the date of filing of the application in respect of the main invention. Okay. This is very simple. The meaning, simple meaning here is patents of addition can be filed either on the date of the filing of the application for the main invention or after the date of filing of the application for the main invention but not before that. Simple and clear. Next, we will go to subsection 4. A patent of addition shall not be granted before grant of the patent of the patent for the main invention. The keyword is main invention. Main invention is given the privilege of getting a patent grant first. Just remember it. And what is the advantage? advantage this is actually written overly. Uh, advantage is no renewal fee is payable in respect of patent of addition. Fine. So friends, this way all the four subsections of section 54 are completed and uh, I think there will, there will not be any confusion. Okay. Okay, so the reference is Patent Act 1970. Please go through my video. Please go through the um, direct as well. And uh, still, if you have any queries, please write to me. Okay, so I will ask you the same question. How do you like it? And please, please, please share your views. Please share your comments and compliments. Okay, thank you so much friends. God bless you. Stay safe, stay blessed. Jai Hind.